What's up beauties? Thank you for tuning in to another video. In today's look, we are doing a recreation look that I found on Pinterest. Um, it's very colorful, very vibrant, and I am very excited about today's look. It's definitely outside of the box for me. I am in love with the final look. Here it is. So if you like this look and want to see how I achieved it, just keep watching. <sighs> Let's get into it. So today we are going to be doing, um, I don't even know because I can't remember the look. <laughs> today we're going to be doing a euphoria type look, but really not actually. It's actually more so of a colorful look. So I just wanted to do something different, step outside of my box personally, and just do something new. So the first thing I am going to do to start off, I already have fresh, um, freshly washed skin and moisturized skin. So my next step is going to be apply my primer. My primer I'm using today is Hard Candy Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer. So, and I actually use a different primer on my skin than I do on my clients because I'm cool with giving myself drugstore, but I like to give my clients high end. So I usually use like a MAC primer on them. Morphe also has a good primer if you want to check them out and they're pretty affordable. So that primer right there, like I said, was, um, I'll make sure I get it all over. That primer was a perfecting primer. Now I want to go in with my NYX pore filler right here and right here just to close up those pores. That's anyway, so I'm going to take my NYX brow glue. That's literally what it's called. NYX professional makeup, the brow glue. So I kind of swear by this. It's a new product that I've been using, but I already swear by it. I usually use like real glue, but I'm going to use this today and literally just kind of like wipe your brows into place. Bam. Boom. Bada bam, bada bam. So yeah. <laughs> Take that. I'm just swooping this up a bit. I want to take my Morphe eyebrow pencil. So going back in with that brow pencil, I am just outlining. Let me sit back. Outlining my brow. Okay, so for my concealer, I will be using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Toffee, which is gc984 which i don't know why i'm telling you all of that because you're watching this but you might not be my color so just because i am toffee does not mean you're toffee do not go to the store and get toffee okay get your color i'm just letting you know what i am and just go I like that. So now I'm just gonna go to the other brow. Here I am just checking them out, making sure I like what I see. And I didn't, so. Just clean it up. Okay. That's a little better. We cool with that. We cool with that. We can work with it. So now I'm just taking another little sponge, and this is also from Morph. So Morph, if you ever come across this video, holla at your girl, because obviously I'm a big fan, so I like you. You might like me. Let's work. Okay, so if I'm completely honest, I have zero idea how to go about this look. But hey, we're going to make it do what it do, baby. So the look actually, I'll insert a picture. Has yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, all these colors in it. So I thought, hey, the perfect palette to use for this look 
is the crayon case my big box of 64 shades i love super she is louisiana good like me so i am very excited to be using this palette if you have this palette kudos to you we can follow along quite nicely so as i'm looking at the picture it's a yellow yellow so it's like a mix between iberia and rapide i'm gonna first go in with that rapide and i'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the iberia just to get a true yellow color and i'm gonna start putting that right here yeah so i'm just gonna put that right here and i'm really gonna try to pack that yellow on because in the picture you can really see her colors so i want you to be able to really see my colors as well and now that i'm thinking about it maybe i should have tested my look and um used the transition shade but it's okay i don't i don't know what transition shade i would put under colored eyeshadow so i got that yellow on pretty thick right here i'm gonna put it on the other eye now and remember, we only want it to be right here. And I actually will extend it just a little bit. So when I lay that next color, it will fade. Because for orange, I'm going to use Nagadish. So anyways, with this orange's color, like I said, I'm using Nagadish. Um, I'm using a e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to go a little bit behind the yellow look it's going in a little bit more with that nagadish shade and blending 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 blend 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 okay guys so i think i pretty much like that now the next shade is going to be a pinkish color and I'm not going to lie, as I'm looking throughout the palette, I don't really see a pink that, um, sorry, soup. I don't really see a pink that matches what I need. So I'm going to look into my Morphe palette. Oh, it's actually not pink because it says red alert. But I think when I put it on my skin, it's going to give pink because it looks like, I don't even know. It just doesn't look like it's pink but we'll see we're just going a little bit behind the orange see look at that that looks so pink right i mean come on did i lie it looks pretty pink and just going in a little bit behind the orange with that blending it you want a nice good clean blend between all the colors blend Okay, so the next color that she used in the picture, per picture, actually, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more orange right quick. Because I felt like I was losing it like I thought I would. And I'm also gonna get ready to go in with some more yellow. Because as you, you'll find, like when you're doing eyeshadow looks, as you apply different shadows, you will lose that color. Like, no if ands, buts about it. You will lose that first color. So, just going back in, intensifying those colors, making sure they're still there. And I actually am back into this 64 Shades palette again. So, my next color, like I said, is purple. So, I'm going to stay in this palette to get my purple. And I think I'm going to go for the East Feliciana. Is it truly giving purple? I don't know. But it's gonna go in that corner right there so again you want it a little bit behind the pink okay so now that that's applied i'm gonna go um in and it's kind of like blend the shades up a bit because i don't like how far down they are just blending them up a bit so this look is actually a cut crease look. So here I am just adjusting my mirror a bit. Push that back, actually. 
So I'm going to go back in actually with my concealer to cut the crease. And for me, I kind of just follow my actual um, outline. And she has, a, it looks like it's a low cut crease on her. So I'm just going to follow my natural line and cut the crease. Which I'm kind of actually mad that I picked this look because I am trying to run, like literally run away from cut crease looks because I do them so often. Here I am just cutting the crease. And I'm going to cut it all the way across. So. And this doesn't have to be perfect either because you're going to go back over it with gold. I'm just tapping this concealer in with that same Morphe sponge from earlier. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. She uses like a nudish color on her eyelid. So I'm going to go back into my Morphe palette. And I'm looking at the color Trance. I'm looking at Trance because Trance is giving nude. Okay, so going with this Trance color, I'm just going to use another e.l.f. brush. You can get e.l.f. from your local beauty supply. You can get it from your local Walmart. e.l.f. is drugstore. It's affordable, but it's also like top tier drugstore. And it's so affordable. Like, it's wild, actually. I'm just going to go all over my lid with that okay so now that that's in i'm gonna take um that i'm gonna take that same brush that has the purple on it and i'm just gonna go in with that purple on my lid just kind of like smoke it in a little bit so take that like so blend it in there I did not put any extra product on my brush. I'm just using the product that's already there. First, what we're going to do is put our glitter, though, in our crease. So I'm actually going to use um, a brow brush and this brush. It's a number seven brush from BH Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm also going to be taking my NYX glitter primer and some J. Cal. Rocking the Night Gold Glitter. Using that BH Cosmetics brush, I'm gonna take it, put a little bit of that primer on there, and get in that crease. And the good thing about this brush being so small is that even if I mess up, the glitter is only going to go where the glue is. So, I don't want to do too much with that. I'm also going to just take a little bit of the glitter and put it on the back of my hand because I don't need a lot for this. So, just going to tap a little out. That should be enough for that. Taking that brow brush. Okay, using my um, Kat Von D mascara first with the primer, I'm just going to prime my lashes and get them ready for a falsies. Before I get into my face, I like to always go 
in with my um, Mac Fix Plus. I do find that it helps my face so much. It just it just helps my face so much. Okay, so for my face today, I'm actually going to use this um, Morph Shimmery stuff. It's actually called the Gleam Catcher Illuminator. So it's illuminator. But anyways, I use it with my foundation. And I actually do use more foundation. Big whoop there, a big surprise. I'm in the color F440. So I will say that they discontinued this um, line of foundation and I am not happy about it. But luckily for me, I do have it in multiple shades for my clients still. And I'm kind of like now trying to switch over to their new stuff that they have basically and get my feet wet with it before I just like order a whole bunch of it but yeah I'm just taking the illuminator and some foundation on the back of my hand I don't use that much illuminator I literally take the cap out or I take the brush out stick out use whatever's on the stick and I go from here so I have my damp beauty blender and I just got these beauty blenders from Amazon I ordered the, a pack of them it was like a pack of eight for maybe five dollars so I'm telling y'all, let me tell you right now, Amazon is what it said. 10 out of 10 recommend Amazon, okay? And I'm just gonna use a little bit more foundation because I seen that I put a baby amount. So I have my foundation on the back of my hand, letting it heat up a little bit. Gonna mix that in with the illuminator. Make sure you get under that neck, honey. You want your neck and your face to be the same color. Yeah, so I just put a little X on my chin. Okay. Using the same beauty blender that I used to apply my foundation, I am going to blend all of that out. Let's 
starting with my chin and my nose area because they are the ones that have the least concealer. Concealer is all blended in. So now we're gonna go in with our Lea Mercier um, translucent setting powder. And I didn't realize at, this, at the time that I had bought a setting powder that had a glow to it, but it does. So, but whatever, I'm not tripping. I do like the glow a little bit, a little bit. So again, taking that same beauty blender that I used to foundation and now conceal, I am going to set every place that I concealed. And the trick to using this is to kind of blend it out and blend it in as you go. Because as you can probably see already, I'm glowing like I ain't no tomorrow. But that's fine. That's fine. My mama always said I like the room look. And just want to blend, blend, blend. And now that we got that blend together, I'm actually going to take this Wet n Wild um, white liner and I'm going to line my waterline okay now that i have that white in my waterline i am going to go back into my um big box 64 shades palette and i am looking for a lovely blue to use so kettle is more of an aqua blue so i'm going to just mix that with medicine just a little bit and go under my eye with it I'm actually gonna go ahead and use that primer, um, that mascara primer on my bottom lashes now. Cause I do see her bottom lashes in this looks. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do is she has like this whitish color that's kind of like beaming in her inner corner. So I am gonna do stick true to the look and I'm gonna do the same. I'm just taking a number five BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going back again into that crayon case palette. This time, I'm going to use the Terry Bone color. I just kind of placed it in my tear duct. So I personally, I personally do not like using a lot of inner eye colors. So I didn't. Now I'm just taking my True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm going to contour. So now that I've finished with the regular contouring, I'm gonna also use my Morphe um, Glamour Bras in the color Prodigy. So just taking a little back just to deepen up that contour just a bit. It's in the color Dark Purple. So on the picture, you can't see a little, so I'm just gonna do like a neutral lip. Be sure to blot that out a little bit. And a trick that I like to do to make my lips look fuller, even though they're already kind of big and full, 
well, plumper may I add, um, in my corners here, I do that number there. And this is gonna make your lips look literally so plump. Try, if you don't do that, try it and tell me if you see a difference in your lips. And so I just lined my lip with the dark purple NK lip liner. Now I am going in with this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Ginger Snap. And I do love the Ginger Snap. So just placing that right in the middle. Ginger Snap. And on top of that Ginger Snap, I'm gonna take just some clear um, lip gloss and place that on top. Max Fix Plus. And this one is actually matte. So I have oily skin, so I prefer to use the matte one. I have both and both are magical, but again, oily skin, I wanna stay matte all night on my makeup to last all night so i'm going to use the matte fix plus and yes like most beauty influencers i love to drown in it okay now that we're all fan in last step well not really because i love after i um set my face i love to go back in and contour just a little more and now i'm going to go in with my nk perfection um highlighter and highlight and that is going to be our last step for this look are you excited are you ready are you ready are you ready mr guys are you ready mr guys so Get the nose area, get the bridge of my nose. Right above my lip, and that little dip dip. Gonna turn, and I'm gonna hit where the light is shining. It's only gonna intensify that spot when the light shines on it. Can you see that? Oof. I'm telling y'all, you don't have to be expensive on the makeup. That beauty supply gonna get you right right where the sun shines baby so now i'm going to take a little bitty brush and i'm just going to get right there okay you guys and that is the finished look it, this is the look i am so excited again let me put a little another snippet in of the picture right here so you can cross reference um this is beautiful i am so glad that i did it it looks so much like the picture it's scary so that just lets me know that the skills are there but this is the look i really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. I'll also incorporate clips of me with the wig on. So I hope you enjoyed. Again, comment, rate, subscribe, like this video, follow me if you haven't or subscribe, whatever, um, and drop looks that you would like to see below. So we are looking to step outside the box. So don't send me no mediocre stuff. Even if it is a simple glam look, I guess I'll do it. But if you really want to see a simple glam look on yourself, then just come at me on Instagram at Miss Bree Makeup and apply to be a makeup model if you're in the area. Um, if you apply to be a makeup model, I'll do your face for $20 and we do any look. Um, I get to record so I can post it, post it on YouTube, make TikToks, whatever I need to do for um, promo purposes. But it's only $20. So this is actually a full glam look that usually costs $75 but if you were to apply to be a makeup model with me you can get a look like this for the low low of $20 so again thank you all for tuning in I love 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 how this look came out I'm actually a little upset that I waited so late because I have nowhere to go and no one to show it off to but that's the day in the life I guess so 
Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.